All right, what is up, guys? We are playing some more ranked duel. We have much, much to play. I think I'm playing the same person. I don't know for sure. To be fair, I'm just gonna ban Hebo because I don't want him to play Hebo again. I'm gonna play something else. I did. I won the last game, but like, yeah. I want to see some other gods, you know. Uh, Ho Yi bans pretty good. We should ban on her in this case. Uh, I think we're gonna play Kronos again. I don't know if I'm gonna upload the last game. Uh, if this is a good game that lasts longer than five minutes, okay. This is the same guy because he banned Kronos and locked in his character. Okay, that's fine too. So what we're gonna do is what? Who was the next character I should be playing? So yeah, I think this is a good game to go Charybdis because I'm not a good Charybdis player. And we do have higher elo here, so if it's a close game, that works. If it's not, I don't feel that bad, you know. Okay, tier. So we're going to be going this strat here, which is the glitch in the game mode. Like I said, Hyrus should fix it, hopefully, in like a month, knowing them. Okay, it's thing got Ori T. Sorry, Ori T, but uh, it's going to be what it is. You have a good chance of winning, though, if you really play tier because I'm not a good Charybdis player, so keep that in mind. And we got our Leather Cow into getting tier one of getting Ikkable. So, high res, okay, they missed, I don't know why they got that wrong. They had the mana slot here for C, the first consumable, and health potion for the second one, which is kind of weird. I would think, you know, it should be always health first, but whatever. And multi is gonna be here. So this is the most optimal Trap to do with the glitch at the moment, which is to get the starter, which is basically banned in this game mode. But because I don't know if it's like lazy coding or just a really weird mistake they made, they uh, they put it there. So yeah, I know you got a max or two on Cryptus, but that's about all I know on the character. I knew you need to get some more games play with this character, her and Heim, because they are the hardest to play hunters. And the safest hunters, like alongside uh, Jing Wei. So yeah. So this person does know about builds because they did have a pretty solid build last game. Don't know what their rank is though. To be fair, don't know what the rank is. I'm gonna let him do that. Get this. I don't know if he's not gonna come out because he knows he's playing me again. I don't. I don't know. We'll see. Maybe he does like his chances here. Yo, that is disgustingly bad. I'm sorry. I don't, I would not go that. I would not go that. That is for sure. I think I would just go trans tier two. He got five before me though. And he's just like jumping up and down. I guess he just gave up, I don't know. We are gonna try and do a little bit of a pacifist run for a bit. Because, like I said, I want to get a crypt this game out. Is there a blink at least? He has a good chance of stealing this. Nah, he stole it. Unfortunate, dude. So his ultimate, right? I don't think he's gonna get any, any danger of dying here unless I like really messed up. Yeah. Hmm. He can easily die here if he messes up. So I am getting mana back at the moment because of uh, the MP5 on this item. Well, the cow has MP5. I think I'll do a couple more of these like glitches because it's interesting just to see what it is. To be honest, I don't think enough people play dual to like really affect too much. So that's my honest opinion about it. At the moment you can go for blue or red if you want to. I don't really care. I won't bother him. Like I said, we're going past this run for a bit. 
Heck, he can even kill me. I would not care. Would not even care. Okay. We're gonna go with Kaival. It automatically does that too. Oh, we could probably keep just going auto build to see what it gets us. Because it's actually going pretty good so far. Because the Kaival was in meta in Conquest, funny enough. At the beginning. Well, not the beginning, but like I think maybe two patches ago. After Silver Branch was. Not Silver Branch, but Crusher was no longer the best option. I think he's just going for Mike's Peek there. Don't really care. So he didn't. He just ran away. Okay. All right. Fair enough. But yeah. How's your day going, guys? How much smite have you been playing recently? Maybe you don't play any smite. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. To be honest, I'm not really paying attention how many times I'm actually like trying to focus at the auto attack. I think honestly he's gonna end the game or like F6 now because I just did that. I didn't even mean like I forgot. I was trying to like hold off a bit on dualness for a while. But yeah. This guy doesn't I don't think have the strongest mental when it comes to Range characters, so I don't, I don't know. I think honestly, when I play sometimes and I'm like I'm ahead like this, maybe I'm too mean when I'm just giving my criticisms. I don't know. I could be at times, but I don't. I don't think about it too much. I'm just thinking about like what could I have done better, what could my opponent have done better, basically. You know, but like I look back sometimes, like maybe I'm too mean here. To be honest, I really wouldn't care if someone thought I was mean about it because I'm just like, that's just how I'm playing. You know, time to just say mean things. I don't really like mean anything like to the opponent either, though. But when I do it, like ever, like ever, because I want more people to play the game in general. But I do think about that from time to time. You just don't win this fight, bud. I'm gonna be honest with you. You just don't win this fight. Unless you give me Ender Tower. Sure? Alright, cool. Okay. There we go. I think red's up, so I'm just gonna go for red. He probably, like I said, doesn't really want to play this too much. So, at the very least, we're gonna. A little iffy, I'll be honest with you. I'm gonna be honest with you. But yeah. I might wanna talk about the stage of the game at this point, if you're still like six minutes in hearing me ramble about the game. But yeah. The game state is interesting. Like it doesn't really feel like it's at a point of growing, to be honest with you. It doesn't really feel that way. The game is still fun. But I feel like it's just always usually better just when you get new players into the game rather than trying to be competitive because this game competitively just kind of sucks, honestly. There's no real competitive scene. There is one. It's been growing. Well, not growing. I can't say growing. It's been it's been around, right? But uh, there's basically no global reach of the game. There's no global reach of the game, you know? We say, there's like, oh, we have a Europe scene, but we really don't at all. Speak of, we should be having some type of reach in like a China or Korea or even Japan, but we don't have it. Price pools internationally just kind of are non-existent. And for the professionals that actually do make it, like, But yeah, for the pros that actually do make it, they don't have the longest stint for some of them. And there's not too many spots to go around. There's just, there's not, oh, there, he got me there. You know, there's only so many spots you can actually go. Yeah. 
going to run away at this point. He went into getting Berserker. I don't know why. I, I want to leave just because I don't want to kill him right away. Because, like, I honestly could easily shred him. So, I don't want to really do it. Like, bro, why are you not going to take the hint that you're losing the fight here? Don't tell me he's ulting on me. Thank God. Okay. But yeah. Whatchamacallit. But yeah, the state of the game. I was watching a video today about, like, basically, what if we added five man queues into rank? And I thought about it for a bit. I'm like, well, in some ways, that could be good because you could have, instead of someone grinding through the ranks and going, like, say, professional or, like, you know, do they or, like, as the individual, they're going through as a team you can have that right but then it's like okay you're in a rank and you're getting you can't you literally can't solo queue in rank type of thing right so that means five men would just dominate the rank scene the way he broke it down was actually kind of good because he was like oh well if that's the case right these five men queues are now going into casuals and they're just stomping on people and instead of the casual scene being, you know, casual, you're having five man queues of people just stomping on new players because that is true. I was playing literally today and I got like 30 something kills because these players are like brand new and they're literally like bots. Like no offense to anyone who who's new to the game, but like you're literally a, you know, you're like a bot until you learn more about the game. That's just what it is. That's just how it is. It's not everyone goes through that, you know? Like, no mean thing about it. It just is what it is. I don't know why he's going so much defense. It doesn't make any sense. He's literally getting chunked by what I'm doing here. You cannot think this is you're doing a good, a good thing right here. You went, okay. The thing also about tiers two, I don't, he had meditate. Yeah, this guy's just brand new. I, I, yeah, I don't know. I don't, I don't know, bro. Yeah. The thing that like, really just make that fight just easier because I have a Leather Cow. If I had, like, instead of Leather Cow, I'd probably go Aussie here. And I could do the exact same thing. I could literally do the exact same thing. And to keep in mind, we have Silver Branch, which is literally shredding him. Like, this build, cost effectively, is just dominating him. Because he's just doing way too much. Cool. It's doing way too much. But yeah, yeah, you would basically having, um... You're five man dumpstering uh, new players, and you're having people go up in the pro scene as individuals rather than going up with their team, which makes the game more individualized, which makes rank lobbies more toxic because you don't have your team, you have some random dumbass who doesn't know what they're doing. And that's literally all you're gonna hear is like, oh, my freaking dumbass op watch doesn't know what the freak he's doing here. He's freaking feeding my games. He's freaking feeding my games. Yeah. And I got that part. I was like, that's not a bad part, you know? That's not a bad take. It's understandable. But the thing is with that take is like, there's not enough players in this game to make it fair. Because this thing is broken down by the player base, is broken down by the game mode, they're broken down by the region. You know, like, that means if we have 15,000 people playing Smite, right? How many of those people are playing in Australia? Or not, not Australia, but like Brazil. How many people are playing in what you might call it, America, Japan, you know? At that point, if you go five man into an American lobby in the West, as a five man, how many five mans can legitimately compete? One. And then how many five mans are going to be available to make the competition even, right? Like, if I went, we went five man right now into rank, right? Even when we have a new player in our Discord group, we would probably win. If we say we wanted to play 25 games that night, right? 25 games that day. You're just losing, bro. Oh, 
Ah, I can do the thingy. You still catch up to him. He literally just dies here, bro. I literally push a button, he dies. I just hold left click and he literally dies. There's not really much to it. But yeah, what was I saying? Yeah, if we use our brand new player in our Discord, and we went 25 games into ranked lobbies as a five man, how many games would we probably win? We would probably win. I wanna say of those 25, probably we would only lose about seven about seven of them i would say i think we would only lose seven and i think the only people that would beat us would be like i said like would be the really hardcore masters ranked players who are going five men as well i think that's the only people that could pretty much beat us i don't know i feel like I feel like eventually also those five mans who like play, if you can't win, you're still gonna just go back to like casual probably. Hmm. I don't know. Am I making a good point with that? Let me think about it. I'm literally holding left click and staying in one spot. Uh I think let's see here. What am I gonna do? How much punishment can I literally take here? Yeah. Yeah. Not game. But yeah. I don't know. I don't think... I think actually with that, there would be some more teams in Smite playing rank the grind. But I think those five mans eventually, you know, there'll be a lot of five mans that would just kind of dumpster people who don't have a Discord group who's willing to go five man. So that would force either those players to go more competitive and leave their friend group or basically just suffer in rank. I don't know. I don't know. Doing that could scare more people away from rank, or doing that could make more of the more competitive players just become groups. I don't know. I don't know the exact answer to that. I do know what did happen is when they did add three man queue, it was literally disgusting busted to where those three mans of pro players just dominated most games. That's what I do know and remember. Because like the matchmaking is not even that great anyways, right? So it would be like three pros against bronze players and that's not even fair. It's just because of what time of day they queued at and it was just, you know, we don't have enough players. We just simply don't have enough players at that point. If the game was bigger, I think that could be very much viable for sure. Because by that point, casual queues could be really good and there wouldn't be so many new like, brand new players. And then freaking rank lobbies would just have the super competitive players and they'd be able to have fun. I don't know. I, don't, I just don't think we have enough players. Yeah. But yeah, thank you for watching. Probably rant about this in the next video again.